I've got a theory. I've got a theory that these alleged Chinese spies in Afghanistan aren't Chinese. That what they are is perhaps some contractor that ended up getting a hold of certifications that actually originated in the United States and were connected to securities originally associated with the onset of the American occupation of Afghanistan and what uh, ended up happening with the Northern Alliance transition. And that those were themselves based upon deals that were set up by the Bush family and the Saudi royal family around Enron and the Trans-Asiatic Pipeline. And correlated with the Russian uh, withdrawal from Afghanistan and why it was that the Russians did not engage with the Trans-Asiatic Pipeline. All of these things have been accruing for many years and have not been appropriately addressed. But timelines connected to their onset have been ongoing and without any appropriate intervention to correct for the egregious mischaracterizations that have happened along the way, things end up accruing. Now, several years ago, around the time I asked for my certifications to be investigated, for any potential they might have in acts of money laundering associated with potential threats of terrorist activity in that part of the world. Among the many things I understand happen is that I took a test for one of my certifications that was done on a different standard. It was a much higher standard. And somebody tried to pass off that that was associated with some geospatial satellite technology that's connected to seismic activity readings and it's supposed to be for Saudi Arabia but the people that allowed for that to occur also embedded inherent sabotage into derivations of that technology that were not Arabic from Saudi Arabia other languages into which it got translated were intentionally sabotaged so that they would have to go tear in with and defer to some sort of artificial hierarchy around being able to assure that their technology was appropriately functioning. And there were embedded fails in the program that allowed for an infiltration that made it possible for counter-terrorist operations to be infiltrated so as to allow for the successful execution of a black op that proved to be convenient for those that were using black ops to launder money as part of international finance schemes that needed very high risk moments of liquidation and liquidity openings that are possible in places like Afghanistan, disproportionate to other parts of the world. And a lot of what's been going on in the last couple of years is an attempt to negotiate uh, concerning an acknowledgement of what that means. What does it mean that when you have a transaction that is so high risk that it requires opening of liquidity based upon black ops successfully executed in Afghanistan specifically, that this is allowed to continue being perpetuated at the expense of multiple other national security paradigms, including ones in the region, but also including ones in other parts of the world that are impacted by the fallout. Now, if I'm not incorrect, we're approaching what? We're coming up on six months after the ASNT decided it was going to sabotage its own standards around testing of personnel qualified to work in and be involved with training and non-destructive testing. These aren't Chinese spies. These are somebody's efforts to dump some bad stock deals that didn't end up going through. I suspect it's actually through the Department of Commerce. And it may even be some attempt at an offset concerning some unsuccessful attempt to leverage a Supreme Court case. It's not like it's unprecedented. And so I'm not concerned. 
somebody stole my certifications. Somebody stole the certifications of the people I was in class with. And now the fake copies have turned up in Afghanistan. The problem is that the authentic copies and the original versions, if and when appropriately applied, would have provided protection against an undue and inappropriate speculation in the area that causes a considerable amount of damage and discomfort. But somebody has made it their pension priorities to allow for more than a year later on what I understand would be one year in one day after the publication of a complete farce and slander concerning the federal government and its role in Afghanistan to go unchecked while we've had an alleged pandemic. And now somebody's trying to get some special accounts discounted through China in Afghanistan. I'm not really concerned. What I am concerned is about the understanding that after all these years of inaction and failure to address vital national security interest in Pakistan, that the head of state of Pakistan is again using something he got from me in a inappropriate manner that is not going to yield the long-term results that are necessary to justify his claim to that which was not his originally. I was never his secret service, and I was never his mystical mistress. Pakistan and Palestine are not the same thing. And by the way, I'm an American. Nobody had any right to try to work some side deal where they were going to swap out some exotic other kinds of people who refused to acknowledge my co-contributions to their endeavors and they would try to remand me to reserve duty with prostitutes. That's never what this was. It now appears that when you allowed for me to be reassigned to the restaurant, that you were so determined to cover up the fact that somebody else had every intention of making their political career based on the exploitation of a woman who should have gotten the scholarship and should have gotten the grant he got, but didn't because of what? Demographic indicators? Names on old bearer bonds? It doesn't really matter anymore. You gentlemen have had more than 15 years to prove it was actually your authority and you've failed. It's time for you to get it correct. I do not believe this is about espionage promulgated by Chinese agents. Any more than that man in the Marine Corps uniform who was identified as an army reservist and associated with the New York Police Department is.